If you're having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a congressional sex scandal is not one. It is, however, a problem for U.S. Representative William Timmons up in the South Carolina 4th Congressional District. Now, folks, this is a very evangelical, heavy part of the state, a lot of social conservatives. It contains the metropolitan areas of Greenville and Spartanburg, but a lot of those surrounding suburbs, which, again, a very church-heavy, evangelical, socially conservative part of the state. Now, Timmons has represented this district for the last four years. He was running for his third term in Washington, D.C. He had a very unconvincing victory in the June 2022 primary last month, garnering a little over 50 percent of the vote, narrowly avoiding a runoff against three lesser-known underfunded challengers. So not a very solid performance for Congressman Timmons. In fact, Polster was recently sharing with me some information. He'd done a poll up in that district, and more Republicans in the 4th District thought Jeff Duncan, who represents the neighboring 3rd District, was their congressman than William Timmons. So, again, not a very solid uh, trajectory for the congressman. But if you follow this news outlet, you know I don't write a lot about affairs uh, because I don't think affairs are really anybody's business but the people who are involved in them. And unless there's a taxpayer element, unless there's an abuse of power element, unless there was some criminal nexus to an affair, or unless the affair in some way involved, you know, a failure to discharge official duties. I generally don't write about it. That is widely known, widely known. Political consultants, strategists, both parties, they know how I approach these issues. So it was very interesting. While I was on vacation, the last two weeks was at North Litchfield Beach, Um, Nice tan. Thank you. But it was very interesting. During that vacation, I randomly sent a message to one of Timmons' advisors letting this individual know that information had come to our news outlet related to the congressman uh, and an alleged affair. I did not ask for a statement from Congressman Timmons. I did not indicate at any point that I had any plans to write on this issue. And furthermore, all of Timmons' team knows very well what my threshold is for writing about affairs. Nonetheless, within a few minutes of sending that message, we received an on-the-record statement from Congressman Timmons himself in which he asked for prayers and support from his constituents as he and his wife dealt with an issue in their marriage. <laughs> you tell me, people. Read between the lines there. Who wanted this story out? Was it the click-hungry media mogul, or was it the U.S. congressman uh, who provided this gift wrap story we weren't even looking for? Again, I was on vacation, people. Anyway, we've got a big report up today with some details related to this soap opera, which has just dominated discussion all over the upstate. Anytime I'm talking to upstate people, Greenville people this week, trying to get information about other issues, all they want to talk about is the Timmons story. In fact, people have been come saying, why haven't you written more about it? Well, we did that today. We addressed what we know about the uh, alleged affair, about the participants, about some very interesting ancillary drama involving the, uh, the husband of Timmons' alleged mistress, a, a gentleman who has gone on social media and made some pretty uh, aggressive statements. Uh, but you can read all about that on fitznews.com. But once again, I just wanted to provide some context for our coverage of this story, because again, yes, it's a salacious sex scandal, people, but it is not one we went looking for. This one fell in our lap.